This is the third of the uh, how to set up your IP RoboCam tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, DNS uh, server name and receive your first movement detection emails. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is at the moment you'll see I'm in live view. Uh, you click on setup here in the left hand menu. Go into setup. You'll see now the left hand me menu has kind of opened up. Okay, so first you go into here, network. Click on network. You'll see I'm using the static IP. I have a internet provider. He's given me an uh, uh, IP address. And so we're going to be filling that in here. The first thing under IP, you'll see this number here, IP192 with 178 at the end, is the IP address that I filled in for my RoboCam. So it's my RoboCam's IP address. You can always change these last three ciphers into anything under the 240. Okay, your subnet, subnet mask is generally the same, always. And after you have your default gateway, your default gateway, you should have got that from your internet provider. Uh, so check your papers that you got from your internet provider get your default gateway and fill it in here okay I'm just gonna fill in nulls and of course what you've actually got is not nulls so I fill in nulls here and a couple more nulls okay then you go to your primary DNS and your secondary DNS uh, your primary DNS and your secondary DNS your DNS is your domain name system and uh, what happens is you have two of these uh, because if your primary DNS stops working so your domain name that you got from your internet provider if it goes offline then it automatically starts using the secondary DNS so that you actually don't ever really go offline so that's how it works a bit so then you look on the papers you got from your internet provider look for your primary DNS domain name system and fill that in so 111 of course yours is also not 111 okay oopsie etc etc okay la di da la di da this is of course all rubbish that I'm filling in I don't think he really needs that kind of information. Okay, so you've filled this information here in by your static IP. Um, further, I don't use any of the other settings at the moment. You can enable your uh, universal plug and play here. And uh, your default port number is normally 80. Anyway, once you've filled in this information by your static IP, click Apply. Yeah, we are going to then go into motion detect. So I want you to go down to motion detect. In motion detect, we go in again into a sort of live view window. What motion detect does, it has two windows. You see, if I tick here, this becomes red, this little square on the left hand side. If I tick on this big window here, it becomes red. Okay. This is my motion detect area. You mustn't make this too sensitive. If you make this, this area very, very sensitive, you'll get emails every, <laughs> every mini, mini second. So what you do here is you select an area with your motion detect. You can make this window as big as you want it by grabbing the corner here look at the right hand corner I grab the corner I can move it and once I have the the two arrows I can make it even bigger or smaller you see I'm making it bigger and smaller okay so this is my motion detect area so if the door opens I'll get an email but the thing is if you look here I'm just gonna move this out the way if you look here this is my sensitivity threshold, yeah? 
and uh, if your sensitivity is very very sensitive you will get constantly emails uh, just flooding you the whole time so you have to make this pretty pretty unsensitive so you can then turn this a little bit if you pull this threshold you see now this, the sensitivity is going on is going higher so if I put my sensitivity here and I save it then I don't actually get so many emails I want to actually just show you something I'm just going to walk towards my cam yes and you'll see that it will become active here in the sensitivity area um, I'll turn my threshold down a bit and then you will see how sensitive this is going to become one minute please okay now you can see here this is the sensitivity thing here the blue at the bottom of this bottom of this sensitivity window these peaks every each of these peaks is going to be an email or even two or three emails yeah so this threshold and sensitivity shouldn't be too sensitive it's good to have it just a little bit above here a little bit above the peaks then you don't get too many emails you see there's not a very small peak here that maybe will be one email maybe not okay so you have to play around with this to get not too many emails coming okay once you've done this yeah it's quite a lot of work actually getting this going this you can also do in Firefox so well as Internet Explorer by the way okay once you've got that done then you go to event server yeah in event server you're going to be filling in your email address that you got from your um, from your internet provider yeah <coughs> you have an event server you have the S FTP so the FTP means that once there's movement uh, your cam starts to film and it can can it can upload that film onto a FTP server you know like FileZilla Fire or so it's uh, also you can fill in your email information okay so I click on email I come into my email menu here okay the SMTP server address is what I got from my internet provider which is generally an out address it means an outward address for sending email so mine is out at um, what was it telecom telecom out at telecom yeah and my port number is 25 uh, my email address is Lisa Bishu at telecom at telecom point com. Yeah, that was my email address. That's the sender's email address, so you fill that in. Then you put your SMTP. That's if if your um, internet provider and email provider uh, uh, wants that you use a secure uh, email address yeah that uh, your emails are checked by the server to make sure you're not sending thousands and thousands of spam okay so you check that SMTP with your out at telecom and your senders email address that's you and then you get your you put your username in yeah that your SMTP your internet provider has asked you to to use and then the password you set that in and here under these are the receivers receiver one email address you put in your receiver email one address and your email address your second email address so what happens is anytime you're your cam picks up movement it sends emails to do these two different addresses okay